welcome to the first episode of Patchboard. Today, we'll, we're not, we don't really have a topic, like a base topic to, for today. We thought we'll just introduce ourselves, who we are, who's doing this podcast, who are the three introverted photographers going to be chit-chatting about, you know, the daily and everyday kind of uh, photography related stuff. Um, so um, today we'll introduce ourselves, how we met and why we decided to do it to do this podcast all right uh so pauline do you want to start with um introducing yourself sure so i'm pauline wong i live in vancouver bc originally from hong kong i have been working in the wedding industry since 2019 that was when my first wedding was um and i'm actually a part-time photographer so yeah all right john do you want to go yeah. Hi, everyone. My name is John Bognot. I, um, I am based in Las Vegas, Nevada, uh, originally from the Philippines. I started my, um, uh, my photography business in um, November of 2021, last year. Yeah, that's it. All right. <laughs> Keeping it nice and short. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm Eugene Kim. Um, I'm also based in Las Vegas. And um, I've been, I want to say I've been doing photography professionally for about coming into um, six years now. Um, so I do this for full time, uh, mostly weddings and couples, you know, things like engagement session and honeymoons and um, a lot of travel related stuff. Um, so yeah, that's where we are. Uh, that's where that's where we are at right now. Yes. Okay. So, um, John, do you want to explain a little bit about how we how we met? Okay. So, um, <laughs> so basically, we all met in in Canada. Uh, there is this conference called Not a Conference, hosted by Focal, and also um, um, Taylor Jackson and his wife um, Lindsay. Um, we, I first met Eugene in the airport unofficially. I first saw him there. Uh, and I had suspicions that uh, he was a photographer, but I, I did not approach him. Eventually we get introduced, um, um, by, by, uh, Pauline. Um, and <laughs> yeah, at the end of the conference, we all uh, started uh, chit-chatting, just talking about everything, photography and life. And yeah, everything started from there. You know what you should have done? You should have taken a photo of Eugene at the airport, even if right, he, right? if you, you know, you don't I never know. know. That would have been yeah, hilarious. Yeah. I should have, <laughs> I should have, but I, I didn't want to be creepy. You know, I didn't want to. Yeah, to do like, it. You should have done is... like a side profile and like yeah, put it in the true. Facebook group. Like, hey, is this one of you? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like he was. He was that would have broken the ice real quick. Yeah, that's true. Well, he he was eating breakfast, and it was like I don't know, waiting for boarding. Was so, I? I think uh, I, I, I think you were you were eating something. Uh, it could be it could be someone else. In the morning, yeah. No, it was you, Eugene. <laughs> Very. Yeah, it was you. <laughs> so, did okay. you guys get to Banff like right before the conference, or were you there like the day before? The day before, yeah. yeah. The day before, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then we were both waiting at the waiting area. Waiting yeah, that's actually where yeah. that's actually when I first saw John. Um, I didn't yeah. see it like he he saw me like while like before getting on board to the plane, yeah, but because Vegas, we're on the yeah. same plane. But well, I didn't I didn't know him. I didn't see him, or you know, I didn't see any see anyone who was who was photography suspicious uh, you know, on, on, on the plane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> photography suspicious. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I was waiting for, for my ride. And I think John was waiting for his ride. And um, yeah, we were kind of, we were the only two that was left on the, left at the, um, everyone left and it was only two of us. And we yeah. still didn't talk. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was, I wasn't, I really wasn't sure about what's going on. <laughs> So I was like, okay, I really have strong suspicions at that point. <laughs> yeah. Well, well that um, really shows that we are introverts. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. 
Well, um, to explain, I guess, I guess uh, to give uh, our audience a little bit more of a context, um, um, well, let me explain the about the Focal. Uh, Focal is a company based in uh, Victoria, um, BC. 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 What does BC stand for? British, British Columbia. Columbia. Yeah. Good job. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> Hundred points uh, for Gryffindor. <laughs> um, and then you know in in Canada, um, and then. They um they mainly design website for the photographers. They also do some of the marketplaces um, for connecting the photographers to um, clients looking for um, photographers as well. Um, and I've got to know them um, through WPPI, which is stands for Wedding and Portraiture Professional International. Got it right, I think. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, earlier this year, um, so yeah, they um, they decided to host this uh, conference called not a conference. Um, so it was more like a it was more like a workshop based. Is um, we've had some uh, amazing mentors. Uh, the four mentors that were there was uh, probably if you're in any of this um, mostly wedding industry uh, for the photography. Um, Sam Heard is. Um, He's a great photographer, and he was one of the mentors. Caroline Tran, she's based in LA, um, also another amazing uh, photographer. You've probably seen her, seen her reels on Instagram. If you, if you do, um, if you're on Instagram for the, all the wedding stuff, um, um, uh, Nico Ashley, she's um, she's based in um, based in Canada, um, Edmonton, I think. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, and yeah. Um, yeah, and then. And then, Robert. sorry, who was the other guy? Oh yeah, Robert Lynn. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, Robert. If... <laughs> it's one of those like you know, but it's like you the 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 name doesn't come out like really quickly. Yeah. But yeah, he's a he's a Sony artisan. He does mostly the the studio work and um, a lot of the portrait work. Um, he's I think he does he still does a little bit of weddings, but yeah, not 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 a whole lot. Um, but yeah, so they hosted this um, conference and um, for two days, we've had just a lot of fun for a lot of new photographers. It was a good opportunity to kind of build their portfolio and, and all that sort of stuff. Um, this isn't really an advertising or anything, but they're doing the second version in, in Maui in next next May. So if you're interested, definitely check out their, their website for that one. Um, but yeah, that's, that's just a background story of the Focal. Um, in my case, I guess I met Pauline just because she was in she was in the same group as I I was um, during the during the conference during the not a conference, uh, conference? yeah during the, <laughs> <laughs> the not a conference conference <laughs> <laughs> and um, it's it's I think it's one of those things it's like you know you 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 just connect with some people just so much better than with you know some some other people um, everyone in our group were amazing. I'm sure all the other people in the entire in the entire conference were, but I just didn't have time to get to know everyone. So I couldn't really say much about other people. But all the people in our group was just amazing. But you know, there's just people who who you connect well and you know, on a bus ride, 15 minutes, 20 minutes or half an hour, you know, that sort of opportunity that sort of like kind of opens up the sort of time to talk to each other. And um that's when we talked about a lot of photography when we started and how things are going how because we're based in different location and just knowing just asking about you know what what was intriguing about um, all that kind of stuff um so yeah that's how i met pauline and um and then i think on the sort of like a later in on the first day um someone was saying like are you from las vegas too like as if like, like because like she, i think she knew that John was from Vegas, and um, so someone introduced us that we're both from Vegas, and I was like, "No, oh, there's not that many people," and I was quite surprised to hear there's another person from Vegas. Um, so yeah, when then we started working together after we're getting back, uh, getting back from the conference, and um, and then yeah, we just started talking a lot on um, all three of us on on the WhatsApp group and all that. So yeah. Pauline, how about you? Yeah, kind of like echoing what you said. You know how like when growing up in school, you go into 
class for the first time and the, the seat you pick and whoever like decides to sit next to you usually become like your first friends so it's mm-hmm. very interesting like because I remember like one bus ride we decided to sit next to each other and that I think that was the one that like was a long bus ride or like you yeah. were sitting behind me so we were able to talk like a lot so it's really interesting how that happened because like if I had sat next to someone else maybe we wouldn't have gotten close so fast you know so it's really interesting mm-hmm. how that happens but by the luck of the draw we're in the same group together um and then yeah it was just so fun like asking each other questions and kind of getting like to talk about our experiences and yeah just our our personalities clicked real fast (laughs) and yeah it was great with John I honestly don't remember the first time we ever met I probably (laughs) was like hi what's your name where are you from and kind of that was it because we were not in the same group so we weren't able to kind of talk a lot it wasn't until that last moment the last like yeah. party I guess yeah, the pizza, <laughs> pizza party. party where yeah. we actually sat in the same on the yeah. same table and we got to talk so yeah exactly again like imagine if I had sat somewhere else or if you sat somewhere else yeah. we weren't there at the mm-hmm. same time it would have been yeah. different I think so yeah, I do think yeah. everything happens for a reason but yeah and it would have been so different if I at that moment I felt like I didn't want to talk to people because sometimes I'm <laughs> like that too like sometimes I'll just like you know do whatever and I'll go out of my way to not to mm. talk to people if I just don't have the energy but luckily that night I was like oh, feeling good and I'm not tired and uh yeah I'm just gonna talk to people and then luckily you guys were, th- were still there and of course Eugene I knew that he's, he's from from Vegas so I, I really wanted to chat um like talk to him mm. um and you so um yeah it was all it just everything just worked out um but you know (laughs) yeah it's also funny that like it was only two days but it seemed like we know each other yeah (laughs) Yeah, yeah. (laughs) not long at all but like we just continued you know chatting post conference yeah Mm -hmm. um I think Eugene and I were talking and then somehow like he told me that John you were started working for him and Mm -hmm. like I don't forget like what was the first things that Eugene and I talked about. He was like, "Hey, let's just start a group chat and add John." I'm like, "Okay, sure." Like, yeah. <laughs> that's that's fun. Um, and then like, yeah, we ended up talking all the time whenever something comes up. Like, you guys are the first people that I like mm-hmm. ask or like talk to about, especially if it's photography related. So, yeah, it's just been really fun like bouncing ideas off of each other and like, yeah. Yeah, you almost got to the point where I kind of thought that you guys don't have friends. I mean, <laughs> wow, I mean, sort of true. I mean, <laughs> I, mean I don't have I, I don't have friends, so that's you know like for me that's like that was kind of natural. But for you guys, I mean, like Pauline, I know you work with quite a, quite a few of the photographers yeah. or the videographers, and um, and John, I know you know you're always so busy with other yeah. stuff as well. So yeah. you know. But, it was quite uh, ama- amazing that you guys are always on there. I mean, I think I mean, also, like, even if you're in the same city, like, you both have to put an effort, you know? Like, yeah. even if you're in the same city, it doesn't mean you're going to be close or you're going to see each other. So, oh, I mean, that's sure. just in any friendship, any relationship. You both parties or have to, like, put in the effort and want to talk to each other, right? Yeah. But exactly. I think we were all, like, at that point where we are like, we were, we were needing some... I guess community like that's companionship, we, yeah. Yeah. That's why it worked. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I I'm glad we did. And um, I mean, I guess that naturally brings up to the sort of like why we <laughs> started this podcast as well. And um <laughs> I think it's just it was I think it was a kind of a natural step, um, just because we were just talking so much on 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 you know the uh, WhatsApp group. Um, it got to the point that you know our finger were t- too tiring and just rather rather talk on face to face rather than you know chatting yeah. on the uh, yeah. on the WhatsApp group um, that was just getting too much. No, but yeah. honestly, I think um, I think we I think we just felt that you know I think probably a lot of other photographers would be in the sort of like similar situations um, because I mean anyone could probably tell tell us that you know we're not the we're not the most you know most experienced photographers um 
you know there are so many so many amazing photographers you know like doing youtube doing blogs doing doing other podcasts and you know all the business side of things as well but i think there are there are different kind of like kind of tips that we can give and kind of advice that we can give depending on what sort of level that people are in and i think just not that we're trying to give tips to other people or advice to other people but at the same time i think it's just kind of nice that that what we're talking about it can be very relevant to other photographers right exactly yeah yeah a lot of a lot of that we're experiencing right now is um also experienced by other photographers so it's kind of just nice to talk about it in a light-hearted way yeah yeah so i mean like whether that just comes down to you know dealing with uh, clients and um just way to just way to having a conversation with clients even um some of the gear related stuff whatever the new gears that comes out uh, depending on what where we are in terms of our skill level or our style goes we'll be using different different gears to achieve the kind of the goal that you know that we we are trying to get um and yeah marketing side of things uh just all the just the business side of things um yeah i think there could be a lot of things that that i think other other listeners probably like if they're in wedding photography or other photography business they're like ah that's like i'm not the only one who's experiencing something like that right yeah so like yeah. Even now, if you were to Google or YouTube something photography really, you'll find it so easily. But there's a difference between watching someone else talk about something and learning it versus like actually getting to know someone else um, and getting, again, that sense of community. That's what we really want to try exactly. to build because mm -hmm. it really makes a difference. Like if you actually feel like you're part of a community, you can contribute, you can learn from each other versus like someone you're just you found on YouTube and you're learning from them. It's very different. So I think that's one of the main reasons why we we started this podcast, hopefully to, you know, not just share what we know, but also we can learn from our listeners, again, to know more about each other, learn from each other as we continue on this photography journey of ours, which we have a lot of learning to do still. So we're yeah. just going to learn together. So yep. it's a continuous process. We're always learning. And so yeah, so what are we doing to what are we doing to kind of build this community? So what kind of platforms do we have? All the platforms. <laughs> <laughs> so we currently have we just created the Facebook group. Um and we'll be posting, I think we'll we'll probably be posting the video version uh, from YouTube into the into Facebook. And everyone can kind of comment on each and every episode that what we discussed discussed about um that way you know we can have a bunch of other photographers going to talking about the being on the same topic and just um dis discussing about different things and maybe giving some ideas in in your experience and all that kind of stuff um and then we'll also have instagram um but i don't know i don't know how much of the conversation that might happen in instagram i feel yeah. like facebook is it's a little bit more for conversation related stuff um but you know there are people i mean i definitely i definitely don't use facebook as much like if i don't go into any of these photography related to you know mm -hmm. groups so um it, there could be a <laughs> lot of people there could be a lot of people who are in the same boat um yeah. so yeah that's why i think having an instagram i think it's kind of makes sense and YouTube, I think it's just we're just having the, having the YouTube just as a another platform kind of thing rather than um, try to serve as more of a you know more of a like a discussion panel or something like that. Um, yeah, so basically, we just want to expand our WhatsApp group and include more people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So I think yeah, Facebook but, is probably the best way to do that. Yeah, I think if we were to have all the people in the WhatsApp group, that would be too much. I already get hundreds <laughs> of messages from these two. Imagine oh, if there are more people. Yep. You you'll be gone for like ten minutes and you'll get like yeah. five hundred messages. It's like what happened here? <laughs> yeah. No, honestly, like Facebook is probably one of the best ways to do that. You can have like, you know, different discussions, you can have polls, you can have yeah, there's so much you can do on Facebook. So 
yeah I like the that. fact I like that we can yeah the fact that we can post both photos and and video um things as well so yeah, yeah i think that'll be good um we, we just wanted to keep it short for the first episode i think uh, i think that's that's pretty much uh that's pretty good amount of stuff about us um and then hopefully hopefully there'll be more stuff about us like in the later episode just you know just happening naturally i guess um but yeah so hopefully what we what we're aiming is um definitely more of a conversational style definitely more a communal base so if you have any kind of questions or if you want to have any um uh, a topic that you you know like us for us to kind of discuss you know um join our facebook group and then just um just leave it on there and then you know we'll discuss we will probably not be able to get to every topic just because some of the topics just we don't know or we just don't have any experience in uh but i think you know just having that sort of like uh you know you guys kind of chipping it in and um, us discussing it about and i think that that might be pretty good that might be pretty fun something that you know something yeah. that we we haven't really you know thought of um so that might be i think really good uh but yeah um you should be able to find our podcast um through spotify or google podcast uh we're we're aiming <laughs> we're aiming to air every um tuesday sort of like um 7 p.m uh pacific standard time um but the time could be a little bit different depending on um how quickly we edit and all that stuff um <laughs> but yeah uh we'll be coming back um next tuesday with <laughs> what's the topic <laughs> you're the uh, one your first, your first wedding <laughs> everything about your first wedding correct that's our uh, second yeah. our second episode <laughs> will be about our first wedding yeah how okay. we got Let, how we got the client again. not our what own did weddings we do? <laughs> no not no, our no. No, no meaning our first <laughs> wedding <laughs> photography job so everything <laughs> about that so it might be it might be interesting to um to um up and coming photographers that are going into the to their first season and first client so we'll see yeah it should be fun so uh, Watch out, you guys. See you next Tuesday. Thanks so much <laughs> for listening, for watching. We'll see you next week. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye.